Hello there. The very first play transmitted by Telly Sheridan in his first week of operations was Riders of the Sea by John Millington Singh. Since then, Telly Sheridan has shown a strong commitment to Irish drama, especially in the 60s and in the 70s, both through the weekly drama series and one-off plays, as we tend to call them in the trade. In 1973, they produced a play called Cancer by Eugene McCabe. This eventually led to a trilogy of plays called Victims, each play looking at the effects the Northern Troubles were having on the people living there. Indeed, I suppose cancer could be called an allegory for the divisions and troubles that still continue to exist in Northern Ireland. In any case, it was widely acclaimed, winning a prestigious award for its writer, Eugene McCabe, at Prague, and the Jacobs Television Award for its director, Deirdre Free. Ladies and gentlemen, Cancer by Eugene McCabe. <laughs> Had 
Union's basis. There must be something. Have you heard? Nothing but that yoke there, back and forth since midday. Here, we can get the news now. Done it ourselves, so the blame should be thrown on us. Well, have a grain of wit, Denny. It was meant for the army. You believe that? Obvious. They'd hang themselves if they thought we'd be damned. I believe nothing comes out of that yoke. It is for them. No. In that locker, Denny. See, is there a brown envelope? Harry Cairns. A vet's prescription. I said a drop of passing. Well, I'd rather talk to the dead than with Harry Cairns. a bit out of the paper once a bit our crowd. The McMahons. Yes? Kings around Monacan for near a thousand years. Butchered and driven north of these bitter hills. And that's what it said. But the scholar that rooted up maintained you'd find far better bred men in the cabins of Fermanagh than you'd get in many's a big house. One thing's for sure, Denny. We'll add our bit here. Mm. Blood tells. Tells in the end. Aye, it does. In love and memory of Matthew Boyle, J.P. Muller Duff, born 1860, died 1921. Also his wife, Rachel Boyle, born 1862, died 1939. Sweet Jesus. Mercy. You weren't born when Muller Duff was burned. Broke your grandfather's heart. Big Matt, we called him. A very respectable class of a man. Of course, Catholic JPs and them theirs had a lot of enemies. Things haven't changed much. Who's to blame for that? We'll leave God out of it. He's no unionist. <laughs> We'd better go, Denny. You know that place? The Quins of Culladi. Aye. He used to be Herbie Green's, the undertaker. I was hired out to him about 40 years ago. He used to drive the hearse for him. Until he come drunk one day to burial. Fell into somebody's grave and it full of water. It took me and three other ones to pull him out. He never was the same after. Knocked about the yard half scootered. And died over sudden. Rat poison, somebody said. 
All because his only son married one of us and turned. Yeah, poor old Herbie. And the latter end he got that odd that nobody dared go near him. Poured paraffin over an old dog he had once and put a match to it. That should Craig and Faulkner would do to us if they were let. It's a fact, son. Not one bit funny. They'd do it. Have you uh, a match on you? I have not, Denny. Come on. You don't smoke? I don't. You never did? No. Oh, you're a safe man. You live to your day. Is that a perfect stretch of water? The finest view in the country. Look there, but three fields there. And what's the one? The whiteness. Ah. Geese or swans? It's a blur to me. I'm short sighted. Swans. You sure? Certain sure. So far from water? Oh, I've seen it in that very same spot there in the twenties. It's a bad sign. <laughs> royal murders. Put your boot down and drive through them. For Christ's sake, Denny! James Boyle. Occupation? Teacher. Address? Kilcreen, Mullock Duff. And this gentleman? Name? Janice McMahon. Sean Rowe. Occupation? I'm on the National Health. Going where? Uh, the county hospital. Purpose? Uh, to visit this man's brother. He's just had an operation. He's lying under a surgeon. And your brother's name? Jody. Joseph, how much next to Ken? Awful business at Derry Bag. Derry Bag's cleaner than a man been checked to death by a lot of savages in front of his own children, or been cut down in the street by the military. I'd like to check the boot.
mad bugger. You see the way he looked at me? As if I was sprung out of a cage. His job, Denny. To make one feel like an animal. Occupation is right. Well, I wouldn't have placed a dimension dirty bag. I'll weep short tears for none of them. Wires bridge for brandy. Listen to Skay for drink and tea. But clone us down as dandy. I suppose you're looking to drink. But I'll not say no. Are you when you're ready there? All right, Billy. How's Mary? Ah, not too bad. Should have asked you, George, that last time. Well, I'm not sure. What kind? Irish. What kind of Irish? <laughs> Any kind. I'll be back in a minute. Mm. Nine more in the shed at the back. Right, Sam. Cash or stock, Sam? Uh, stock. Any names from Derry Bay? Actually, they can't make out who's who. Make you sick to your stomach. There'll be no peace till they're purged, every last one of them. Oh, Denny McMahon. That's who it is, Sam. Ah, well, well. You're a long way from Shan Row. And you? Ah. Well, some of the turf we cut at Kilcreen. Uh, where are you going? Jody's been opened. Will he do? I'll know later. Change hands, you know. I can see that. Not many of your kind drop in here now. <laughs> I'd believe that. Oh. Pass no remarks. Takes more than a word, Sam. Hi. Oh, uh, what do you have? Oh, I'm all right. Mrs. Matches. Are you. Are you still on the health? Mm. Aye. Well, tell me, how's the back? No change. The back's a whore. Once it goes wrong, it stays wrong. Mm -hmm. Do you mind, Denny? 
this month, two years ago, we cut down turf. We wrought well. A hundred pounds in three days. Not bad for two old men. Maybe we'll go again some year, Denny, huh? Maybe. A oh, few days in the bog. Mountain air. Nothing or a holiday. Mm. You know, in ten years' time, there'll be nobody left to cut and catch. The young folk leaving the land to go into the factories. Pension schemes for hill farmers like me. And forestry taken over all. Hmm. The old ways is dying. Small loss. Like you best. I could cut your throat. It's a mistake to say the like, Sam. You. Yes, you and all your kind. It must be said. It's a mistake to say the like, Sam, or think it. The truth. The truth, Denny. And you mind it. I'll not forget. Well, it's no more to fly by. And this heath man's a bum boy. All them Tories is tricky whores. They will mix and peeps and leave us here to rot. And by Christ, they'll come no poop to the town land of Inverclune. I'll not be blowing up nor burnt out. I'll break to the last death. You're right, George. Thank man, you'll come up with me, Rob. That blew me across, no bow. Have it blood the one, them by Jesus will get it. All the one. Yells of it. Wagon load, ship load. Now you're talking, George. You be quiet. There's a couple of them out here. I don't care who's out there. It's time they heard. I do nothing for any of them but dig a grave. Cream full of harsh coals, liars, thieves, tricksters. Every last one of them. And they hit us, always dead, always well. That's a fact, George. Oh, they get rid of us or root us. Well, that's true. Cut our throats first chance they get. And any man won't join the stop them no more. Right, 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 right. I wouldn't join for a thousand pounds a night. Who spoke? Sit down, George. Who spoke? I did. I could only sassel on Neil. There's not a head wrong with him. Sure, he's one of us. He is, surely. Oh, Neil, a clever now, is it? Yes. And I'd as lief be killed as carry a gun to kill any man. You've got a rotten name. And if I see that you keep rotten company, what are you, Cecil? I'm a peaceful man. Not the by brings peace. You're no loyalist. I'm an Ulster man. Not loyal. To a few acres I am. And a few friends. Away that creed. Four strong sons and none of them with guns. Some of your friends and neighbours have remarked on that. And what are you? Not a fear to put this on. And not a fear to shoot if I have to. I'm no coward. A coward's a man that'd sooner shoot his neighbours than give them daylight. Neighbours. Murderers. Why? Because they hit us. Why? We're a decent people. We work. They have done nothing this fifty years but breed and draw the duel and plot against us. Why? Because they're no good. And any man with a name like O'Neill should stay quiet these times. A sad name for Ulster. I know sad ones. Traitor's name. 
You don't know where you belong. I know where you belong. Who are you for, Cecil? Manchester United. <laughs> I saw a dame for smart remarks. Men tortured in back streets, blowing the bats across bogs, cut down before their wives and kill their be animals. If I had ten sons, I'd lose them all one by one and be buried with them to keep what we've got. King Billy's dead two hundred years. She's in her parlour. And if she has a grain of wit, she doesn't care a tuppenny flute about you, me, or any of us over here. You make small of a queen. Did I? He insulted our bloody queen. I misunderstand. There's nobody get excited. This is all right. Be far from right. And any man insults the queen for an damn no man. And once again, that man's a coward. I pity you. Keep your pity for yourself and your friends. The way I pity sick animals. There's only two animals in this house. And they'd be safer go. and roast their own children and feed them to the rats before they give us that. It's very sad. I see no answer. I know the answer. Cut the bastards down, every last one of them, and it'll come to that. Them or us. They got it with guns, they kept it with guns, and guns will fit them from it. Blood's not the way. There's no other. They're there trembling in their boots. We've nothing to lose but our lives. And small loss it would be to most of us. That. Tonic wine. Poison. Recommended for a sick body. It rots the insides. You can drop it out the window. I'll keep it. I can use it. Hello. Jody, you're looking bravely. Seen myself in the toilet. Well, that's the operation. Aye. You just heard the news? We did. For none them cars, the morgue. I heard nurses talking about it in the corridor. Brought them here in plastic bags from Derry Bag. Laid them out in slabs and a go of sawdust on account of the blood. That's what they're at now. Army doctors trying to put the bits together so as their people can recognize them and box them proper. Oh. They say one man's head couldn't be got high nor low. They're still searching the mountain with searchlights. Dear God. A fox could nip off with a man's head handy enough. Yeah. Come down from my height, it would sink on that old spongy heather. They'd never find it unless they trapped over it. Bloodhound dogs could smell it out. I wouldn't use bloodhound dogs for a job like that. Wouldn't be proper. Better nor leaving it to rot in a bog. Of course they'd use dogs. They'd have to. Mm. 
John Willie Foster, a bread server from beyond Five Mile Town. Started in to wet the bed like a child over a year back. They couldn't care for him at home, so they put him to Silver Springs, the old people's home. But he got worse there, so they packed him off here. Hadge day, the heart give up. The heart broke. No one came to see him, bar one neighbor man. He was told he could get home for a day or two at Christmas. No one came. He wouldn't speak with no one. Couldn't quit crying. The man's heart was broke. Them Presbyterians are a cold hard bunch. No nature. That's the third was carted off since I've come down here. Did he say what about you, Jody? No. You asked? A deep operation. Very deep. An obstruction. So I said, is there something rotten, sir? I want to know. I want to be ready. Ready for what's his he and smiles. But you can't tell what's at the back of a smile like that. Just ready, I said. You could live longer than me, says he. He hasn't come next or near me since I've come down here to the ground. Did he tell you anything? But we didn't see him yet. He said he'd like a word with you. We'll see him together. If you want. I'd as leaf know the truth. Good or bad. We'll find that out, Jody. I... I hear you got blood, Jody. Who told you that? Well, one of my past pupils, she's a nurse here. Three pints. Black blood. I hear you got uh, Paisley's blood. <laughs> Paisley's blood, she said that. Aye, she did. Aye. That's terrible. Yeah, yeah. You see, our man and our ma got a pint of Paisley's blood, and when he heard who gave it, he went orange at the gals. <laughs> it's all right, says the doctor. We have the Pope's consent. To hell with the Pope's is he, you should have asked me. <laughs> uh, it's a pity, it's a pity that man Paisley's not one of us. He'd make a powerful Pope. Aye, Pope John was a great man. Now I'd say this present man in Rome wouldn't talk to the likes of us. Rome? It's a long way out. Aye, it's a fair journey. Could a buddy walk there? Men have done it. What's new about Sean Rue? The fields don't change. Haggerty was left on a Tuesday night. Red pot? No. For what? Well, he talks strong. And I hear there's a lot of our houses bugged. Bugged? Hmm. Tapped. They'll maybe left me next. For what? Well, I'm not afraid to talk. They're not afraid of talkers. 
What have you ever done? Far throw an odd stone at Haggerty's dog. They'll hardly lift you for that. The story's not done yet. For us it is. Speak for yourself, man. Not worth fighting for. What's not? The dole, the fire, the crossroads at night. Change or no change, we're tied to that. Fit for nothing else. I'll be back in a minute. much faith in him. Well, they say he's a good sergeant. So they say. It's just enough your man to run you over. He do the proper thing. Bread in him. He's all right. But uh, at least the old grandfather, he spoke his mind good or bad. This man says nothing. He busted myself all the way over in the car there, and all I could get out of him was yes and no and dear God. You wanted to hear him talking to the English officer. Awful business at Derry Beggs, you see, and near vomited. There's five men dead. I'd hang myself before I'd say the lack, and so would you. And a man like that, schooled, sits quiet all these years. What hope is there for the rest of us? Paddy Cairns got a thousand pound for an acre of scrub. A grave measure six, Bethlehem. Fuck, you're a long way from that, Jody. There's none of us too far from it. We'd better go. Aye, 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 right so, aye. Ah. Next time, can we bring you anything you need? Not the need. Nothing. So when it erupts, the growth rate is tremendous. Near tissue affected spreads in blood and lymph vessels. Cells break down. Other organs are invaded. It can't be contained. Certainly, in your brother's case, it's late. Much, much too late. No cure. Earlier, we could have checked it, perhaps, but... If I can explain simply. A wart is benign. A touch of caustic and it's gone. Now, if the wart is internal and grows malignant, it becomes, as I've explained, part of the body. It's everywhere and growing hourly. At that stage, it has to take its course. He's dying. It's terminal. He's not in pain. And may not be for quite some time. When the stitches are out, he'll be much better at home. Will he suffer much, sir, at the end? If he does, we'll take him back. There's a lot we can do nowadays. Death is a simple matter. He doesn't know? No, I didn't tell him yet. He wants to know. A 
long has he got, sir? I can't say how long. Will he see the year out? Sometime this year. I'm sorry. Thank you. Cancer. That's what we're all afeard of. One touch of it and you're a dead man. Well, my old man died of a rare breed of it. If he went out into the light, the skin would rot his face and hands. So he spent the latter end of his life in a dark room, walking about the roads at night. That killed him in the end. He hadn't seen the sun for years. Yeah. Doctor told me once that it could be in the blood for 50 years, then all of a shot it boils up and you're a goner. Travels along from father to son, and if it's black, there's no cure. I'm sorry, Terry. Ah, uh, half knew I'd hear the lack. Short road we have, and one way to go. Yes. When will they tell him? Already, maybe. Ah, what odds is it? Who does what, or where, or when? I buried my mother and my father. I'll bury him. Who'll bury me? Friends, Denny. Hmm. Friends. Hmm. Hmm. It'll be like a dead hush till he's gone. Worse after. What about the tonic wine? Poison. I'll give it a try. What's it like? He's right. Bad port and pig powder mixed. You try some. I'll not, Denny. Thanks. He's contrary, too. You wouldn't know what he was going to say next. Takes after the mother's side. The McCuskers, great people, but all touched. Dark again. Yes. When the sun goes, all goes. I read that. Yes. The end of all. What will men do then? Oh, they'll be gone by then. Where? Somewhere. Or nowhere. Many in the world. Three thousand million or thereabouts. Since the start. A million million? More. Well, if it's any place we go, it... It must be big. What's at the back of it? Good sewerage. <laughs> Make your head like to think about it. <laughs> Poor old Herbie Green, when he get drunk, used to sing, We come out of the sea, we come down from the trees. We lie in the earth, and we lap at the stars. 
<laughs> what do you think of that? I think there's a squad of men a hundred yards away and I'll have to stop. It's the UDR. Christ. I'll talk. So will I. Keep civil, Denny. They're touchy. So am I. We don't need your papers. Out. Search the inside, George. Here you open that. Come on, hurry up. It seems to be stuck. Mm, what a thing to hear that. Stand back. Catch yourself on, George. What's it doing in the car? It's not used in the house. Use it now. Haven't got any matches. Religion. Roman Catholic. Not you, him. Religion. Christian. No trick answers. Religion. Catholic. If you lied, you'd be gotten that ditch with a bullet in your skull. Both of you. Boyle. Correct. How do you spell that? Mr. Boyle. B. O. Y. L. E. Not like a pain in the neck. <laughs> Married to one of the Gleasons at Clon Ray. Sister of Peter Gleason, publican. Yes. We know him well. Next time you see him, tell him we'll blow him, his pub, his street, and his neighbours to hell. Soon. He knows. Tell him again. You've been on marches, Mr. Boyle. I've been to one meeting. Why? I believe in civil rights. You know animals and the IRA. I know nothing about the IRA. Don't lie, Mr. Boyle. You know your brother-in-law. You know animals and the IRA. I do not. You've talked with murderers. Not to my knowledge. To our knowledge, you must have. We want names and addresses. No. We had to open the boot and check on a cylinder, sir. Did you refuse to open the boot? The man who tried to open the boot is drunk. And this man here knows I've been to a civil rights meeting. He's demanding names and addresses. That's a fact. Liars, sir. Both of them. Will you produce a clip of the cut of what's calling us liars? The white hopes of Ulster. Why should we invent this? How is your brother? Diane. I'm sorry. Are you satisfied? Far from it. I'd like to question them more. You asked my religion. I told you. You know who I married, where I live, what I do. This officer here knows where we were and why. 
What else? Nothing. For now. here a thousand years before they come. How do you spell the boil? Christ ain't hurry on bucking. Leave a pain in his neck that a plaster wouldn't cure. Stopping, searching, inserting us in our own fields. A rat pack of planted grabbers. Only for law and officer, we'd be ditched and dead. The way he asked about Judy. They can berate mannerly the English. If you don't turn your back on them. Who did you know? The shouter from the pub. The strong talker. He knew you. Yes. What have they again, your brother-in-law? He serves tough customers. Oh, if I was twenty years younger, and that picnic yoke was a bum. I'd go back that road and blow them all to hell. You're a dangerous man, Denny. I'm no Judas. I'm a Roman Catholic. I never called myself a Christian. <laughs> you find that funny? Sad, Denny. Sad. Every man sees things his own way. True. he know? Sure, how could he not and him looking like his own ghost? Uh, I offered to cook and tidy, but sure they wouldn't hear tell of it. Proud. Odd. Come here to tell you. You know Mary begging the school teacher, but she net a pair of socks for Denny last Christmas. She never heard a word till one day she asked him. Bad wool, miss, says he. Out through the heels in a week. I dropped them in the fire. Oh, true as God, that's what he said. She was half distracted telling me. Ungrateful, spiteful, lazy wee men, says she. No wonder the Protestants despise them and us. And the smell in the house? Sure, it's desperate. You'd think with nothing else to do but draw the dole and poke the fire. The least they could do is wash themselves. And as for religion, says she, no mass, no altar, nothing ever. God knows you don't want thanks, says she. But to have it flung back in your teeth like that, them and their communists. I know what real communists would do with on two boys. What Hitler did to the Jews. You're having me on. Tears God, that's what you said. God, that's a terrible thing to say, Mary, says I. God forgive me, says she it is. She started in to cry. And her so religious. Yeah, what's that you got there? A pair of sheep. Of course, they'd have none. And the blankets must be black. What other way? Sure, no woman body stood in either room these 40 years. Or <laughs> Oh, may God forgive us. Poor Jody Kitt. Ah, poor Denny. He'll be left. That's worse. Good evening to you, Master. Good Over. evening. Yeah, the school teaching must be paid. Visitors? Aye. From the mountain hill and beyond. The all creeds, day and night. It's like a wakehouse inside. Who's with him now? 
John Corley from Drum Crew. Decent man. Aye. Uh, but you wouldn't know what was in their heads. Or do they know what's in ours? They say the sun got a note last night tied to a creamery can. Yes? Eric Gawley, UDR Drum Crew. Black edged paper. And inside it said, Get out or begotly closure. R.I.P. R.I.P.? No. Oh. God, that's sick. That's very sick. Crozier's own family didn't even know him. Crozier didn't know near neighbours at night when he had a gun. He pulled the inside out of Father Pat Rafferty's car and told the whole country he found a pair of knickers in the back seat. And worse again, he started in to search him till he come across the host. What's this yoke, says he? It's the body of Christ, says Father Pat. Crozier started into footer at it. If you open that, says Father Pat, you'll suffer. I'll risk that, sir, says he, and opened it. A week later to the day, he was coffined. For God's sake, who cut him down? God or Pat Rafferty? A man that does the like of that deserves all he gets. And better again, it makes them think. I could be sure of that. They've tromped over us too long. Hundreds of years too long. The only thing I hate is hate, Jody. A class of a bad joke, maybe. In times like these, a note like that's a death warrant. What's the boy to do? If he gets out, he's a coward and a traitor. If he doesn't, he'll be got, maybe. What made him join? I shouldn't ask that. He, he wanted to. The mother backed him. I said nothing. Now she's off her head with worry since the thing got bad. Blames me for, for not taking a strong stand. Lives on tablets. We sleep separate now. I'm sorry to hear that, John. Like a sick rat that crept into every house in the country. Them's my worries, Judy. They're small alongside yours. Mine are over, John. I was awful put about when I got word. It's good of you to come. Make Mahans and Gollies in Shan Row here for close on 300 years. It's a poor lookout if we can't talk to one another at a time like this. We're all in the funnel. I'm a drop ahead of you, that's all. Too true. Not when we go, but how. Aye. On the way over, I, I thought of something I'd say. It's gone. I don't rightly know what to say. You're here. That's enough. I have a strong belief in the man above, Jody. When I kneel, I keep you in mind. I'm thankful, John. Every night since I heard. Uh, I'll not bide longer, Judy. When a man's not at himself, callers are tiresome. You'll call again, John. If you want. But I'd as leaf not. I'm an old man. We're old friends. One farewell's enough.
How is Jody? Never better. No pain? Not a twitch. He has rings round me and snores the whole night long. Man never was sick a day in his life till now. I oh, had rheumatic fever as a child. They fed me aspirins by the handful. My heart's bad. I spent a year in the sanatorium with TB in the spine. I have been opened twice. Appendix and gallstones. Tell you, I've suffered. He doesn't know what it is to suffer. He knows about dying now. That's what I'm coming at. He's dying, and he sleeps 12 hours out of the 24. He eats, smokes, walks, and for a man that never talked much, he talked the hind leg out of a pot now. Make your head light to hear him. Look, I've took two of them sleeping caps since he come home, and I've never closed an eye. Can't hold anything in my stomach. My skin itches all over. I sweat night and day. You know what I think? Living's worse than her dying. I'm sorry for your trouble, Denny. You can handle them. I'll sit a while. Are you coming? Later. I'm going over to McCaffrey's first. Hello, Jody. Where's the other fellow? He mentioned McCaffrey's. Very nibbly these times. He'll be there at twelve or after. Same every night since I've come home. Away from the hearse every chance he gets. Do you know who is saw... The sergeant. He told me. I'm sorry to say, he says, your complaint is serious. I have it, I say. You have. How long? Not long. And then he smiled that smile and moved to the next bed. I counted the words over in my head that night. Thirteen and all. There's something about that number. Do you believe that? It's lucky for some. We father pot call the day. Yes? Nice we ma. Modest. He is. Asked that I want to tidy things up with God. Told him I thought things were in fair shape. I'd no spite on God. I hoped he'd none on me. He mentioned confession. Another day I said. Time enough. Tell me a thing I never knew. And me living here near 60 years. Sean Rowe, he says, this turnland. That means the old Rue land, the land of old sorrows. Sean Rowe. A thing I never done. A cry odd times when I hear the school bus. Children. That's natural, Jody. The old is. He's pressed the box. What? The other fella. Three coats for a coffin in his bed table drawer. Come across it last night looking for matches. What do you think of that? 
I'm lucky you found it. Lucky if they're not in to measure me sitting by the fire. Ach, no, Judy. It's true. I've thought a lot since I've come back. I'd say. What do you believe? About what? When a body's dead. Peace, I hope. Hell? No. You don't fear that? No, not at all. And you? Hope it's better nor here. What's in the bag? Bitties. The wife made. Easy digested. He ate them. He is worried, Jody. Damn the worry. Whinging and whining at every slob that passes the road about me snoring the night long. Didn't I hear him with my own ears? It's him that snores, not me. Him. It's me that's dying. Me, not him. Christ's sake, couldn't he take a back seat until I'm buried? What would you call it when your own brother goes contrary and the ground hungry for you? Rotten. That's what you'd call it. Rotten.